Good morning, guys. Technically, day three of Vegas for us. Hi, guys. Got my girlies. Taylor and Katie finally got here last night. On the itinerary today, we're going to set up the studio for our episodes this week. We have our first guest coming on tomorrow. Britt with Bronx and Donks is going to be here, so that's super exciting. So we're going to set up the studio, figure out what equipment we need. I'm going to go to Jenny's house, actually, so we can see Huddy. Basically, just get ready for this week. We're going to go grocery shopping because we have a really long week ahead. I want to show off this beanie. This is Katie's. You have more of these available? Yes, there's so many in the store. Go to my Etsy, guys. Okay, I will link her Etsy in the description below so you guys can hop on these because they're fucking cute. This is my whole identity now. All right, I figured I might as well do a little get ready with me since today isn't going to be that crazy. I might as well. First things first, I'm using this Clinique beyond perfecting. You guys have been following my YouTube for any amount of time. You know that this is my tried and true. Using my wet beauty blender, of course. I have a super dry mascara and we're just, we're running with it. We're so ran. I want this to be a super fast look. We're not going out or anything, so I'm going to keep it casual today. Oh, look at that. You've got to be kidding. Next, I'm going to use a concealer. Oh, thank you. I'm mm. freaking hungry. Mm. <laughs> I think I'm not really going to use concealer today. I'm just going to use this. That looks weird. It really looks like you're not even behind me. <laughs> Maybe I'll use some setting powder. I actually don't use setting powder that much anymore because I want to look like a glowing goddess. But we're going to use some today since I'm not using the uh, setting spray. Hmm. Maybe I should use that more often. Give the eyebrows some shape. I am using the CoverGirl Easy Breezy Brow. I actually really like this, especially with my darker hair. I think it makes it look, it just fits my darker hair way better. Okay, next I'm gonna do bronzer. I didn't bring any actual contour, which is very unlike me. Another product of my low maintenance. I really need to shave my face today. We're looking a little fuzzy. I don't know if anybody shaves their face, but fun fact, I do, and I have been for quite a while, and I love it. Okay, next I'm going to use this palette. I'm going to be honest, I didn't jump on the blush train until recently. Ooh, the blending of that. Oh, atrocious. What's next? My favorite palette in the world is this Urban Decay Born to Run. It's a little dirty, so excuse me, but look at this. Do a little white first, and then I always just go with a little bit of brown. With my new haircut, I actually really like brown on this corner of my eye, which is kind of weird. Most people like to keep that light, but I'm going for the darker, like deeper eye makeup look lately. I think it just matches my new hair better. Should we go down a little bit? Like, I just feel like... This I can never put eyeliner on the bottom of my eyes like this. I don't know how people do it. I try to go as high as possible, but it makes my eyes water. Oh, mascara, it's so dry, it's so bad. I hate putting on mascara, it takes so long. Okay, I'm using this NYX Liquid Illumination for a little highlight. This is like the most natural glow I have. Last thing, arguably the most important thing, we're gonna line out my lips. I think that's pretty much it. I'm gonna add some lip gloss, but that's in my purse. I'm gonna go get my beanie so I can do my hair, but I'm just gonna leave it straight and brush it. Okay, I got the beanie. Slip this guy on. Yes, sir. I love this necklace. It's so simple. It's a moon. I love moons because of moonshine. So anything that has a moon on it is my favorite. I also love my hair with a beanie. Oops. I did I break this? Oh. <laughs> I thought I just broke the sink. Okay. Honestly, this look is so cute. All right. I'm going to go put on a pair of earrings and then put on a pair of pants. And then I think I'm pretty much ready. 
I cannot forget my rings. Gotta put the rings on. That is one thing that'll make me feel like a bad bitch. There we go. Something name on my phone. I'm gonna fall down and then get back up. So that they overlap. Oh, okay. So what it's supposed to be when We're gonna be up. Because I'm gonna the have same to, thing? Yeah. Could you really fast move my vlog camera like on that edge? Because I'm just gonna see your booty roll the whole time. <laughs> Sit up again, like immediately. <laughs> I feel like an idiot. <laughs> I feel like I forgot to dance. <laughs> Sorry, I don't like the dance. Show me your dance moves. I'm gonna so help you. Show Gary back black seaweed. <laughs> no one can judge you for it because it's just. <laughs> you think that was good? I fucking cannot. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I feel like the first one was too bad. <laughs> Making reels. I'm just laying in bed, continuing to edit. <laughs> No, they want to see me doing bad, but I'm good. <laughs> Made it back home from grocery shopping, and we are filling the cabinets full to the top. Ooh. Okay, so I didn't know this, but apparently for Call Me Cowboy, we also get a Spotify wrap. So we're looking at it right now because this is really exciting. And we're on the top 10% of most followed podcasts somehow. I don't even, that's literally crazy. What are they like exactly? Calculating our listeners' personalities. The devotee. When your fans love a podcast, they really love it. They're quick to support new releases and play their favorite episodes over and over. That's also probably me, I'm not gonna lie, because I listen yeah. to our podcast on repeat. So One crazy. thing for sure, if you look at your Spotify wrapped and Call Me Cowboy is on you like your top five, please tackle. share it. No, we're good. We're good. They throw the flag. So cute. Okay, now. Good morning, guys. We have our first interview this morning, and we are going to be interviewing Britt with Bronx and Donks. So we're going to have a good show and a good day. Quick outfit pick. We're ready to go. Taylor set up the bagel bar. It looks so cute. And we got. I'm not done. Is this pineapple? Blue drinks. Look at how cute these little drinks are. I actually don't even know what kind they are, but we did pink and blue, of course, for the branding. And then we have the studio set up. I made these. First of all, we're wrapping the microphones with Wild Rags, pink and blue, of course. And then I printed out these stickers last night so I can kind of spruce up these mirrors. He can cut all of these mirrors, but this one I wanted a glob. And he delivered. So we got a little cactus. I think it looks super cute. And then we have Keegan working on the American Bonfire Co. logo. And it looks really good. It's really cool that you guys have all the boys there. It's you guys, you know, and that everybody gets to meet you guys and take pictures. And that's what they say, like, even with the podcast or, like, anything that you want to do and be good at, you need to be an expert in. And you also need to be its biggest fan. So I think about that all the time with the podcast. And then I do YouTube videos and stuff, too. And that's what I love. Like, on my downtime, I'm listening to podcasts or watching YouTube videos. Yeah. And I think that helps so much.